Thanks for watching as Indiana relies less on coal generated power. Some lawmakers say they have concerns about transitioning to more renewable forms of energy. Hannah Adamson breaks down what they say are the biggest challenges moving forward. Since 2012, 29 coal plants throughout Indiana have been retired. Another 20 are expected to be retired by 2035. The Energy and Utilities Interim Study Committee discussing this transition Thursday, emphasizing reliability and affordability must be top priorities for any renewable energy alternatives. In the past 11 years, Indiana's reliance on coal for electricity has dropped from 76 to 47 percent, according to the Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission. We're transitioning and the question becomes what do we transition to? This as installed solar capacity is expected to grow from roughly 400 megawatts to 7400 megawatts by 2025. I don't know that it, there's really an issue with it working as long as we've got enough other things that will uh, produce electricity when the sun's not shining. However, committee chairman and state senator Eric Cook says he questions if that increase in solar power is feasible. We have many counties that have passed moratoriums against solar and against utility scale wind. Senator Cook says an advantage of coal is 24-7 reliability, something solar, wind and non-thermal resources don't have. We can have a situation in Indiana where we have rolling blackouts because we don't have reliability. Currently, some renewable energy projects are stuck in the pipeline. The nonprofit in charge of operating the Midwest's power grid, known as MISO, says construction for 49 gigawatts worth of resources is facing an average delay of two years, with supply chain issues primarily to blame. It is particularly acute in the world of the utilities, and it's something that we're going to have to deal with. MISO says it will file Q reform within the next 60 days to get those projects moving as quickly as possible.